Hi, I'm Melanie Knutes. I'm with the Graduate School of Social Work at Fordham Social Services. I'm an adjunct professor. Hi, my name is Judith Insel, and I'm the Director of Curriculum and Artist Development for the Bronx Arts Ensemble. I'm Edward Dunar, and I'm a PhD candidate in the Theology Department. Hi, my name is Ann Fernald, and I'm one of the principal investigators on the Reimagine Project. Hi, my name is Roxana Calijo Garcia, and I am co facilitating the incubator group with Ann Fernald. My name is Gregory Jost, and I am part of the Reimagining Higher Ed Incubator Project. Hi, my name is Julie Fissinger, and I'm Fordham University's Executive Director of the President's Council. Hello, I'm Patricia Peake, and I'm the Dean of Undergraduate Admission. Hi, my name is Mark McNeil. I'm the Director of Network Engineering and Operations at Fordham University. Hi everyone, this is Kevin Gray, uh, Manager of Grants Accounting. My name is Isabel Wood, and I'm a senior at Fordham College Rose Hill. Hi, my name is Jisun Lee, Associate Dean for the Graduate School of Social Service. Hi everyone, my name is Carol Gibney, and I work for the Department of Campus Ministry in the Division of Mission Integration and Planning. I initially joined the incubation to provide more of a voice to students, and I think that this has been able, this incubation has been able to provide that very well. I also think it's been important that Fordham has been given some ideas to break them out of the mold and give them more of an edge and give Fordham students more of an edge. Um, one thing that's been great about the reading group um, in general, and more importantly, the reading group during this time, has been that it's challenged me to refocus my priorities and to really look at you know what's important. Something in the past that may have been a, a nice to have has now moved front and center um, as a necessity on my to-do list. Uh, it's you know something that's going to help us operate um, in the best way moving forward. So I think that's one of the biggest takeaways I'll have is the ability to keep looking and challenging what my priorities are and how can those things help us in the future. I think the idea of different classes and experiential opportunities that have come out of the incubation will provide Fordham students with tangible skills that they can take into um, the workforce and their lives to come. This reading group provided me with an opportunity to challenge my own assumptions about higher education. I'm excited to be part of the conversation at the university where inclusiveness can be at its core for reshaping higher ed at Fordham University. I have been delighted to be part of the reading group for the Reimagine Higher Education. Little did any of us know when we began the journey together back in January that we would be a part of this uh, situation that has unfolded. Being part of the Fordham Reimagining Higher Ed Incubator has been important to me because this initiative, these relationships, and the innovative projects that have been developed situate us specifically in the collaborative mission of the Society of Jesus today. The world that our students will occupy after graduation presents complex challenges, such as climate change, that require increasingly collaborative and interdisciplinary interventions. Fordham's core curriculum encourages students to connect their professional and personal goals with service to the common good, but it isn't always clear to students how their intellectual formation supports their desire to critically engage with global issues. Therefore, we propose the Fordham University Ignatian Climate Leadership Initiative, a four-year thematic interdisciplinary cohort experience. This initiative equips students through dynamic and focused engagement with the existing core curriculum to exercise leadership in environmental stewardship and climate justice. In this program, annual cohorts of 10 students from diverse backgrounds and academic interests build relationships rooted in shared values while integrating their experience of the core. This is not a new major or an alternative version of the core, but instead is a shared experience within Fordham's existing frameworks. Here are examples of current core courses focused on environmental stewardship and climate justice and others that provide opportunities for integration of ecological topics. Students also collaborate on projects in the Bronx, on campus and beyond that cultivate skills related to project management, community engagement, and intercultural communication. Fordham's mission statement commits us to research and education that assists in the alleviation of poverty, the promotion of justice, the protection of human rights, and respect for the environment. The Ignatian Climate Leadership Initiative responds to this call by further activating our commitment to our Jesuit identity, Ignatian pedagogy, 
and the priorities of our continuing university strategic planning framework. The initiative contributes to Fordham's distinctiveness while supporting student retention and offering a flexible model of engagement with the interdisciplinary core. Starting this fall, an initiative coordinator will work with an organizing committee to develop and begin implementation of a strategic plan. The first cohort arrives in fall 2021 and begins coursework and projects together. New cohorts join them in the following years and in May 2025, we will celebrate the graduation of the founding cohort and continue to build for the future. This initiative creates opportunity for collaborative relationships across the university. Successful implementation of this vision can begin now by bringing together key stakeholders to work towards strategic planning, sustainable funding, and recruitment of an initiative coordinator. Building on Fordham's strong tradition of liberal arts education, members of the Ignatian Climate Leadership Initiative will graduate with a highly developed critical consciousness and a sense of being bothered by injustice in a way that compels them to act. These Fordham graduates will enter the world with a heart for leadership and climate justice that will inform their contributions as community members, professionals, and global citizens. I'm so grateful to be able to work on the incubator right now for two reasons. First of all, I think this is a time that reveals how interconnected we are as a planet. And so thinking through how to help prepare students to tackle the big issues of our time, issues of interconnection, I think is an exercise in hope. Second of all, I've been so pleased to realize how much room there is in Fordham's existing programs and structures and processes for creativity and experimentation. And I hope that our proposal and our project uh, is encouraging to those who want to be innovative wherever they happen to be in the university while trying to meet students' needs. I'm a part of the incubator group um, and my project is Fresh Air. I'm particularly excited about uh, how my group has worked together. We have two uh, full-time faculty who are scientists. We have an expert uh, IT person. We have an undergraduate student and me. It is no secret that there is a direct correlation between air pollution and respiratory system illnesses. In the U.S., 1 in 13 people have asthma. The Bronx has the highest percentage of children up to the age of 12 diagnosed with asthma and the highest child asthma hospitalization rates in New York City. The estimated cost of treating asthma in America is over $62 billion every year. Our goal is to design a two-semester course at Fordham that integrates the current understanding of air quality studies and the impact of air quality on people's health. It is a Fordham and Bronx community collaborative effort. Today's events are a harbinger of how quickly air quality can be changed globally and locally. When the particle matter in the air gain entry into our respiratory system, they can make us vulnerable to all kinds of diseases that can then reduce human life expectancy. We're all acutely aware of the danger carried by the air we breathe now more than ever, and it has become clear that the quality of the air we breathe can mean the difference between life and death. Particulate matter, especially in urban environments, has a negative impact on air quality and can adversely affect human respiration. The high incidence of asthma leads to nearly 14 million missed days of school and over 14 million missed work days in a year. The course is inclusive, designed to have those exposed capture, analyze, and discuss all facets of the process. Teach, learn, and keep the information at its source. Um, it synergistically magnifies uh, the power of a wide variety of perspectives because the course also includes not only interdisciplinary faculty, but undergraduates as well as graduate students. It includes faculty and administrators throughout the Bronx community. Hopefully this project will bring the Fordham community and the Bronx community closer together and 
spark ideas and innovation from science-based activism uh, and science-based learning. Fordham students will work in tandem with New York City science teachers and their students. They will produce materials including age-appropriate interactive study modules for middle and high school students. Here we learn and are empowered to understand that science really is something we do all together. I came to this project thinking that I would be able to uh, utilize my skills in inserting technology into new learning spaces. Um, it turned out to be something totally different, um, working with a, with a very energetic group on a very stimulating project. Diverse experience and perspectives, and there's been this amazing collegiality between all of us, also different ages. But never thought that I would be able to uh, work with a group to create a project that would have such an impact or hopefully have such an impact on the the community um, it's going quite well i, I enjoy the work uh, or enjoy working with the team and you know we're hoping that we can actually push this through to the for the new semester hello everyone i'm yu jie Leng, an international student from china my name is diane Ade, and i am the program director of the fordham university liberty partnerships program Long and I'm a senior in the Gabelli School of Business, majoring in public accounting. I'm Julian Navarro, first year at Fordham College's Honors Program at Rose Hill. The final goal of our project is to establish an annual five-week-long summer program for Bronx Native Rising High School seniors that hosts them on Fordham's Rose Hill campus and provides daily instruction in forming personal statements and resume writing, as well as interview coaching and contact with admission representatives from different universities. And there is clearly a need for this work to be done by Fordham. A Bronx High School senior who has just completed the college process offered this perspective on it. I knew I could get into top 50 schools, but I had no idea if I could afford one. Going through this process was immensely stressful. I had to write hundreds of emails trying to secure fee waivers and request information. This system has to change. It shouldn't be this difficult to get into an elite school. I don't mean academically, I mean monetarily. All I want is the same opportunity a well-off person has to attend a great institution. Hazim Mia, a commuter student from the Bronx, has always understood Fordham's potential to serve its surrounding communities. He used to do schoolwork in the Walsh Library and says that programs that Fordham offers to high school students could be particularly helpful in the college process. Here in the Bronx, students are facing so many barriers to higher education because they lack the support and resources they need to prepare them for life beyond high school and outside of their neighborhoods. To develop the curriculum, we would survey current high school students to understand where the students feel they could benefit from more guidance in the college application process outside of the guidance they are currently receiving in high school. In the final week, students will have the opportunity to stay on campus at Rose Hill, where they will receive final preparations and finish their application to school's participation in the on-site admission stay later that fall. We would utilize the Fordham campus to show the students what a college experience is like and to expose them to the offices, resources, and experiences they would find at other colleges and universities. The week would culminate with a celebratory event, a final concert on Martyr's Lawn, which enrolled students would be encouraged to invite their family and friends to create a welcoming space on Fordham's campus that often feels like a gated community to its surrounding neighborhoods where students in the program would be from. The final event would incorporate the model of a college fair where various universities would accept early application from the students following the model of the Chicago Scholars Program. Students would apply to schools attending the on-site admissions day and would interview with them and hopefully receive a few acceptances by the end of that day. Working in conjunction with the Center for Community Age Learning, the Admissions Office, Liberty Partnerships, the Higher Education Opportunity Program, and various student clubs, this program would be reaching out in a beneficial way to local communities and potentially diversifying and enriching Fordham student body and exposing students to all the higher education options out there. The Fordham University College Launch Program provides a unique opportunity for students to develop their knowledge, confidence, and leadership skills as they prepare to apply to the colleges of their choice.
This project has been so impactful to me because I believe that it is truly working on the conversations that I've heard coming from Fordham for many years. I wanted to give back from what I've learned at Fordham University. This project would help in increasing retention as well as helping play a role in our community to increase the number of students matriculating from high school into higher education opportunities. Bringing the students, their families, and the greater community of the Bronx together for a large celebratory concert at the Rose Hill campus relays the commitment that Fordham has to the intellectual and spiritual growth of the Bronx. The on-site admissions experience allows our Bronx students to share their personal stories of resilience in a face-to-face -face interview. This is a real chance for admissions counselors to get to know a student in addition to their application and could offer them a chance of gaining admittance and financial aid. It's been my pleasure to be involved with the Fordham University Reimagining Higher Education Initiative, where we are addressing the issues that are challenging for K through 12 students as they try to gain access and also the issue of retaining them in the higher education system. Ignite, a Fordham Advocacy Seminar is a three credit course open to all first year undergraduates, but aimed at reaching students from underrepresented or under-resourced communities at Fordham. It is a three credit EP1 spring semester course. The goal of the course is twofold. First, to prepare students for the challenges of their college career. Secondly, this course will focus on inequality and bias, teaching students to advocate for themselves and their communities where these factors may arise. There are many learning objectives associated with this course. First, students will become dynamic advocates for themselves and others. Second, students will familiarize themselves with the context Fordham holds within the Bronx and the higher education landscape and their various relationships within that context. Third, students will recognize challenges they may face as a first year student at Fordham, but will have guidance to recognize and tackle these challenges through the help of their facilitator, guest speakers, and alumni mentors. Students will also set long and short term goals and develop plans to uphold those goals with the help of their facilitator, guest speakers, and mentors. IGNITE, a Fordham Advocacy Seminar has four distinct course features, discussion sections, faculty guest lectures, two alumni panels, and a final service project. Discussion sections will be led by a dedicated course facilitator. The course facilitator will teach the students about a variety of college success skills, as well as lead discussions on inequality and bias. Some discussion topics may include time management, learning styles, social justice, advocacy, and more. These guest lectures will be offered by Fordham faculty representing at least three to four academic departments, for example, economics, sociology, and political science. These are intended to offer a depth of information to the curriculum and expose students who may be undecided to a variety of disciplines. These lectures will tie in with the course discussion sections that are led by the facilitator. They are meant to bring depth to both the, the discipline of the faculty leading the guest lecture, as well as the content taught by the facilitator. These alumni will be representative of the students taking the class. They will convene once at the start of the semester to motivate students and once at the end of the semester to offer advice for the future or on students' final projects. These alumni will be built-in mentors for students in this course. Final Service Project Students will complete a final service project aimed at the Fordham community or the broader Bronx community. We will encourage the guest speakers and alumni to serve as mentors on these projects to help students build a support network on campus and in the community. Involvement with existing Fordham programs. IGNITE, a Fordham advocacy seminar, builds upon the sorts of strategies and principles discussed in first year formation. However, unlike first year formation, IGNITE, a Fordham advocacy seminar is a full-fledged three credit EP1 course, utilizing faculty to teach guest lectures on topics pertaining to race, inequality, social justice, and advocacy, in addition to the course content and college success skills that their facilitator introduces. 
This course will likely live within an existing academic department. It focuses on inequality, advocacy, and empowering underrepresented student populations on campus to thrive. Our group is part of a larger initiative called Reimagine Higher Education at Fordham University. Being part of this uh, groundbreaking work at the university is so important to me, um, primarily because it cuts across the traditional boundaries of departments and schools and brings together people from a variety of different backgrounds, including people uh, from off campus who are working together to devise projects centered on access to education as well as equity uh, in higher education. The reason that I still love the incubator, the reason the incubator has become even more important to me in the past few weeks is that it's a place where we can be creative, where we can dream, where we can imagine ourselves into the future. And even in this moment of tremendous uncertainty and crisis, I'm convinced more than ever before of the centrality of learning and education and thinking about new ways to deliver that education makes me happy. I got to prototype a class with the um, Office of Diversity that was called New York is My Campus for first year students. And we did some immersion and um, historic context about New York City, about the Bronx, getting involved in civics. We went to go talk to community board members. Um, we went to uh, sample some local restaurants. We got to meet folks in the neighborhood, walk around and see the long history of community organizing, all the ways that people can interact and learn experientially uh, from the Bronx. The new liberal arts. New York is my campus, a second year experience. We've been told the liberal arts are dead. But the truth is a far more nuanced conversation. As our world shifts and avenues to success become more uncertain, Fordham students need more. I really appreciated the interdisciplinary nature of my undergraduate experience at Fordham, but one thing that I really wish that I had learned and developed more are professional skills outside of the classroom. Liberal arts students at Fordham crave a sense of belonging, a pathway to purpose, a sense of confidence to marry practice and profession. They are looking for workplace experience, mentorship, community, a strong sense of belonging, problem solving skills, critical thinking know-how, the chance to make a difference. New York is my campus, a second year experience. Let's use the liberal arts curriculum as a laboratory for professional development and community-engaged learning. We propose a set of project-based one-credit experiences tied to second-year core courses taught by a diverse cadre of young alumni mentors, entrepreneurs, community leaders, grassroots organizers, and innovators who use their Fordham College liberal arts education in new and inventive ways in their fields. I think that if I had the opportunity to have taken a one credit course, or better said, uh, have had a one credit experience where I could have learned some harder skills that were applicable in the workplace, I know it would have been very well applicable for me. Uh, I know political science is a very broad degree and a lot of the alumni who graduate from Fordham specifically and from schools across the country with political science degrees go on to do a variety uh, and array of things professionally. Uh, so I think having that hard science one credit course sophomore year would have been very instrumental, especially with that of being in like the middle of my education. The project responds to three distinct elements of Fordham's strategic framework. Contemporary teaching and learning infused with ethics and justice. The inspiration and challenge of New York City, a diverse and inclusive community. Project goals, enhanced second year retention, project-based curricular relationship between the liberal arts and professional experience. 
increased community-engaged learning courses, improved student mental health, enhanced student body diversity, the new liberal arts. It has been a privilege to be a member of the reading group during this unprecedented time. I'm struck that we embarked on this endeavor as a project for the future, then the future became the now. I'm hopeful that the work that we are engaged in will be actualized in a way to support Fordham and its community going forward. The incubator is a key step for Fordham in embracing this mission anew, a mission that challenges us to read the signs of the times, to contemplate and discern how we can best respond, and to take courageous, compassionate, and collaborative action together to live into and to cultivate God's love in ways that lead to solidarity, justice, and peace. I have so enjoyed being a part of this wonderful group of colleagues from across the university participating in rich discussions about how we can best harness Fordham's strength and mission and propel us into the future to serve our students of today and tomorrow in the most powerful ways. Thank you. Thank you.